Ascend. Ascend. Oh, we're not ascending. Okay. We waste time trying to ascend. Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode, we finished up Zora's Domain with the final quest and we got things started here in Laurelin, which we are wrapping up today. We had to get the Gerudo Racing Ladies back from the Hudson construction site. And look at this. We brought a little bit of the Hudson construction site with our person as well. Truthfully, actually, this has been our shield for a few days, but I thought it especially topical. Now, we get to to race on water, perhaps? I guess let's talk to the Elder and see. I see. Using the surface of the water like that to float on it. Incredible. <laughs> Fascinating indeed. I'm dying to get to work. <laughs> We've got this. No problem. Isn't that right, Tally? Oh. Yes. If we use the village boats, even the children should be able to enjoy it. Provided, of course, they don't drown. Hmm? Oh, hello. Oh. Ah, if it isn't our savior. Yeah, I understand we have to thank you for inviting these two. Huh? And good thing, too. Now that they're here, this project is sure to be sun and done. Oh. Leave it to us. Oh. It's been a while since I had a big project. Oh, I can't wait to show you what I can do. <laughs> With a big project. But first, I've got to get my noggin in the building zone. Okay. Yes, that's it. I'm ready. Let's do this. Mm. First, you've got to yell at the wood to tenderize it properly as you should, and then it should create exactly what you need. Oh, look at it. It's a building. Ta-da! Yes, exciting. Well, you look at that. It's perfect for us. It's even more incredible than I imagined it would be. With this in place, Laurelin Village is sure to be even more prosperous. Oh, I was already so grateful to you for driving out the pirates and rebuilding the village. I never expected you to do so much more for us. Boosting the local economy. Isn't it fantastic? As head of this village, I must thank you once again. Uh, uh, thank you. We are filled with gratitude. Now, since you saved our village, there is no fee for you to use the course. Please, enjoy it any time you like. Moreover, to honor you as our village savior, we shall name this event the Savior's Race! Oh. What? You've gotta be kidding. How about something classy like, oh, I don't know, the Laurel and Water Rally? <laughs> don't go giving some weird name to a rally we helped with. Mm. Laurel and Water Rally is better. Uh, well, the uh, Laurel and Water Rally it is, I guess. You see, I have no backbone. I can't stand up for my own opinions. Even though I am the mayor, I just kind of let everyone else run it. Uh, now, if you want to give the Laurel and Water Rally a spin, and I'm sure you do, uh, come talk to me anytime. This course is a wash in bolts and charm, and I can't wait for you to try it. Uh, look lively, everyone. Time to get our stations. Ooh. You there, man the cash register. You, the juice bar. You, the toilet. Thank you. All right, Bolson, let's see what we've got here. Um, oh, it's small. What is this? This is not a course. This is like a like a petting zoo. Like I uh, like at the aquarium when you get to go talk to like the stingrays and stuff. What is this? I mean, it's nice they have equipment here complete with batteries and the like, but well, it doesn't actually strike me as something that's going to be much of a course. Although maybe oh, this actually this probably opens up, doesn't it? Ah, oh, let's talk to the dude. He'll tell us more. Uh, Welcome. As you know, this thrilling event takes place on the open ocean. We have a variety of courses to choose from and encourage you to select the one that floats your boat. <laughs> Needless to say, you can join the fun free of charge. The head of the village would toss me in the ocean if I took money from Village Savior. All right, I'll give it a shot. All right, I like your enthusiasm. Now then, the first thing you need to do is build your own vehicle. You could use the materials we have here if you want. Oh, this is your dream machine, so it's up to you. Look over there. When your dream machine is ready, go ahead and set it afloat in the water. Oh. Let me know when you're ready and I'll open the gate. Mmm, I almost forgot. I've been asked to track data from this race, so make sure you attach the steering stick you were given to your vehicle. Good. Very much like the track in Terrytown. I'm assuming this is the stick. It got hat and a goggle set, too? Is that is that it? Is that something else? 
No, that looks like that's it. Okay, so we have this as the first part of our contraption. Is that enough? If we just attach the steering stick to that, will that be good enough? I don't, I don't know, to be honest with you. And I'm a little bit hesitant because I don't know that we're going to float. So let's, let's add a little bit of upward propulsion here, attach it to the battery. And better yet, I might put the steering stick on top of the battery too. Uh, for now, however, we will... Ooh, actually, 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 I got, I got ideas. Ooh! Goodness gracious, the neurons in my brain are whizzing and spurring and sputtering a lot all the same. Ooh, that's not at all. No, 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 no. We want it to be on top of the wood, please. Thank you. Put it right there. That looks roughly symmetrical. Put another battery, just for, uh... Uh, posterity's sake. And then let's add another layer. You see what I'm getting at here? Now we will assuredly float, right? Boom shakalaka. What is this? Nothing else seems uh, like anything that we need. Okay, well this is our, our raft. Well, wait, wait, wait. What if we put it in there? He'll be mad. We need to grab the steering shaft first. Of course. And let's... Yeah, right there. I guess it doesn't actually matter how far forward or backwards we put it. I just want to make sure it, it, it's good. Looks good to me. All right. Whee! All right, I'm ready. We gotta talk to you first. All right, Bolson. Release the hounds! And by hounds, I mean me. Oh, someone's having to go. Care to give it a spin? Yes, I'll give it a try. Uh, let's do the beginner course first and foremost. Now, just flip the switch for the beginner course right here, and oh, a beginner. Very good. Okie do, let's go over the rules. The time limit is two minutes exactly. To clear the course, touch all of the lights, and get back to the gate within that time. Taking your hands off the stick once you've grabbed it or straying too far off course, those are big no-nos. Enough said, here goes. Ooh, three, two, one, let's have some fun. Onward. And I am quite pleased with our machine. We are kind of tipping backwards a little bit, probably because of the two fans at the front I have angled in such a way. But, we are definitely at no risk of sinking, which is what I- Oh, and look how well it handles, too. Mmm, the steering rivaled only by a 2013 Prius. Beautiful. We're gonna get, uh, we had two minutes total? We might do this in a single minute. Can we withhold an extra 60 seconds? Can we pocket those precious it ticks off the clock, I think so. Unless we missed one? Any of those lights get missed? No. We strayed a little bit here, but I think we are still in the clear for one minute. There goes a battery. What happens if both batteries go? This might disconnect. Okay, I didn't think of that, but uh, thankfully, we made it back in 52 seconds. Boom shakalaka. Would you look at that? <laughs> Welcome back. Let's get you out of the water. Mm. Hey now, look who cleared the beginner course. Talk about skills. What a thrill it was to see you in action. You deserve something special. Here's a battery. Don't spend it all in one place now. And this too, a cooked fish straight out of my back pocket. Oh, it's the perfect temperature. Mm -hmm. Kiana over the restaurant put all her heart into making it for the hero of the village. Now that's you, by the way. It's fantastic flavors that you fancy. Be sure to make your way to Azure Bay. Wanna give it another try? I would love to. Uh, I'm gonna make some adjustments because I did burst a battery there and I'd, I'd rather like to, I don't know, have a battery if at all possible. Was it the back battery? It was the back battery. And we've got two extra batteries here now. So what is attached? It's this fan. Okay, well that puts my mind at ease ever so slightly. It means that once the batteries go away, it's not going to like detach our friggin' thing, which is good, uh, which is good, yeah. <laughs> oh, truly, very good, in fact. And we'll take a third battery just so that we can have, I don't know, more battery? <laughs> Probably goes without saying, but it's good to have, even though I don't necessarily think we're going to need it because we have a, a good minute's worth of battery with just one, right? It only used one battery. I can't imagine the next course will take a lot longer. The intermediate course, that is. I suppose we'll see. I suppose we'll see. And then if we're able to, to do the intermediate course, 
uh, like relatively easily. If it doesn't pose too many problems, then we're gonna do the expert. I mean, we're gonna do the expert course regardless. But as far as like right here, right now, same time limit, two minutes. Touch all the lights. All right, same rules and stipulations. Let's go. Let's doodle this dandy. Uh, what's the best way to go? I'm just gonna head straight for this light source and take largely the same path I took for the beginner course. We might be able to do this as well in a minute because it doesn't quite look like any of these lights are any further out than the furthest light was. There's more lights, yes, but they are large. They, they seem to be like in the same general path as the lights from the beginner course. Very curious to see what the. I mean, clearly we're going to do this, right? It is taking us slightly longer, so perhaps that that light was a little bit further from shore. I don't know. I'm no expert estimator. I can't. <laughs> Some people go to the fair and they're like, guess how far it is from here to here, or how much I weigh, or, or something like that, and you win a prize. And clearly, I, I do not have the eyes for such endeavors. Ooh, barely made that one. Let's take a, a big turn here so we can get both of these. This one is definitely taking longer than the first race did, but hey, with it being an intermediate, a step up from beginner, I suppose that's not entirely unexpected. That being said, we did do very, very well, netting ourselves a finish with over 30 seconds left on the clock. I don't think there's like tiered rewards. New record, yay! We were the first ones to do it, so it's not necessarily, <laughs> not necessarily something special, but it feels good all the same. Uh, so it was a little bit more difficult, but I don't think it's going to be insurmountable to do the expert. So we'll do that too at sunset. Look at this, three batteries and what, three fishes? No, same fish, but this time they put salt on it. Delicious. All right, well, let's let's do it again. Let's do the expert. I'm going to have to make adjustments though, because I did burst two batteries, I think, on that. We are, we are ramping up our, our battery expenditure with each subsequent difficulty curve. The first one only did the one. No, 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 we didn't. We didn't, we didn't. We still have two. Well, here we go. Presumably, we will use more on this one, because I, I do think... I do think we did? I don't know. Who's, who's to say, really? I'm no, no ep expert in estimating. I'm no expert at speaking the batteries, either. I have very poor relationship with the batteries. They seem to die quicker than quick. All right, Bolson. Unleash upon me the expert course. You see, I fancy myself something of an expert now. I've... Never boated before, but... Well, we've done these two courses, the beginner and the intermediate one, and... Well... With no small amount of, of like, ease, <laughs> to, to, to put it bluntly. Looks like there are a lot of lights. LOL. We have two and a half minutes, though, so an extra 25% of time. I, 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 I feel good. I feel good. All right, far be it for me to, 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 to start being cocky, but... Dare I say, I expect to get this on the first try. And again, we're going to take largely the same path. The lights are very much in the same areas. However, just a, a little bit more. Like, there's two over here. There's two back there. We've already lost the first of our three batteries, which is a bit problematic. Do we have the ability to, like, use a charge? I think so. But we won't need to, right? Because we also have our full slate of batteries. The batteries that are attached to the machine itself are, are extras. They're the insurance policy, okay? It's like an extra tank of gasoline strapped to the hood of your car. Some people would call it unwieldy, other people a fire hazard, but Link, he doesn't care. Link never went to school. Link doesn't understand things like that. Are you kidding me? And what's more, the schools don't understand things like Zonai devices. These are a recent phenomenon, a new technology. It's also technically an ancient technology, I guess. It did come from thousands of years ago, but it's a new technology to these people. They don't understand it. And uh, furthermore, they don't need to. Because we're making great use of it and great time too. Look at this. We've got 80 seconds left. And we can see the finish. Really, if we just went straight. I'm just going to go straight now. I'm not going to touch the stick. Is this going to be good? Oh my goodness. The anticipation. Oh! I'm shaking in my boots! It actually looks like we won't make it. Well, I guess we'll have to try it again next time. I'm not touching the stick. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, did I fool you? I may have fooled you.
Either which way, an extra 56 seconds, even though they gave us the additional 30 to complete the expert. We didn't need them. Now, what's our final prize? Five batteries and tough salt grilled crab. Delicious. This man has tons of seafood in his pants. It's amazing. And we have defeated all of the, the tiers of this. I quite like these. Uh, the track, obviously, down at the Terrytown excavation site or construction site. And then this. Very cool. Very fun. Little mini games. Zelda games have traditionally uh, put a lot of, like, emphasis on incorporating mini games. Usually they're, like, game rooms inside of towns and stuff like that. But there's always something in every Zelda game. And I am glad that Tears of the Kingdom maintains that. One thing that I wish Tears of the Kingdom maintained that its predecessor did have was something of a... What was it, like a gauntlet? You know, the Trial of the Sword? Technically, it was a DLC. Um, but it ended up being packaged into the base game after, like, I think 2018 on. There's nothing like that in Tears of the Kingdom, I've come to realize. And that's quite sad, because that was a, a, a difficult challenge that I think this game is lacking. Not to say this game is easy. I mean, goodness gracious, I can't lie to you. You've seen me struggle. <laughs> oh, you've seen me struggle and squeal mightily. But still, it, it, it would be fun. Again, though, however, there have been uh, announcements that there are no DLCs to be had for this game, so I suppose we should all cry or something. Either which way, crying aside, we are leaving Lorland Village. We have completed what we sought out to do there, and now we're headed to Gerudo Town, which is the final town that we have yet to, uh, to cross off our questiness, I believe. Uh, we did Rito Village. We did Goron City. We did Hot No Kakariko, Terrytown, and Lower Land, obviously, and Lookout Landing. I, I do think that's everything. All of the uh, the major settlements inside the, 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 the Hyrule. Wow, and it's nice here at the, uh, the Gerudo Town. It is so big. We did do a lot of this when we were here in times past, so there might not be a whole lot for us. Hey. But we'll run around and... And run by people at the very least. <laughs> Whether or not we talk to them, I suppose is to be determined. If anyone has punctuation to expel at me, then I'll talk to them. Is there punctuation for me in here? In the bar? In the lounge, perhaps? No? Someone's talking about the Vaux in jail. You had a quest in Breath of the Wild. I remember that. But not this time. Nope, don't climb the pole, Link. I don't think that'll do very well for us. If I wasn't retired. You want retired what? Wait, can we just have these? Can we just have these? What? There's, there's butter and oil hanging out on the on the counter. Don't mind if I do. I can't walk by delicious fats like that and not stick them in my back pocket. Amazing. That's very, very rare. Time to relax. I'm already relaxed, alright? I got a pant full of butter. Off to the other side, the south side of the city. It's mostly just merchants here. Traditionally, merchants don't have quests. The only quest they have is... Buy my stuff. I mean, that is a quest that's particularly easy to accomplish, but it's not actually a quest is the only problem. It wouldn't actually uh, jot anything down in our adventure log, and that's what I need to happen. Do we need to take a photo of this for... Yeah, ooh. We do have a quest for this? Take a photo of Madison, the sleeping child. I feel a little weird about that, but I knew that Hudson, the guy on her back... Hey, should we... Here's your dad. Look at your father! <laughs> Link eyes her. Goodness gracious, look at that expression. Little known fact, Link hates children, can't stand them. But let's go down this alleyway, run across any more individuals that we can find. Hopefully at least one of them will have a quest. If you have a quest, you're, you're sleeping. Uh, construction notes, not something I'm looking to, to learn about. Fergan! Fergalicious! It's, it's suspicious and delicious and nutritious. Do you have the little ones? Uh, you prepared it for the little ones. They're sleeping on the ground outside. All right, no quest from you. Um, very nice. <laughs> Onward and outward. This is the secret shop. Yes, we've already done purchased everything here. Nah, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Link's walking pace slows down mightily amid the purple haze in the secret shop. What are you guys smoking in there? Goodness me. Is this part of the city? It is indeed. We are rapidly... Oh, oh, oh. Quest, 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 quest. I heard there's a place out in the desert with huge statues all facing each other. 
Have any of your customers ever mentioned seeing something like that while they're surfing the dunes? Mm, hard to say. The desert has a share of statues and ruins, and of course the upheaval really changed things too. Do you have any more information on maybe a map or something? Uh, I did have one, but the wind caught it and blew it off to who knows where. I know for sure that it's in the reason in the eastern part of the desert, though, and like I said, the huge statues face each other. It helps to know it's in the east, but well, the desert's kind of friggin' huge, so. Uh, a customer! No, no, I'm just an eavesdropper. If you figure out where you need to go, come back and see me. I'll be happy to bring a sand seal to you for your trip. Alright, talk to me. Hey, you look like you've done your fair share of exploring. Have you ever seen massive ruins with a huge statues facing each other? It'd be in the eastern part of the desert, I think. I lost my map, so I don't exactly know where they are. Does that sound familiar? If you know what I'm talking about, I'd appreciate it if you could take me there on a slay seal. A slay seal. Exploration expenses were paid in advance. I'll take you there. I don't know where that is. Uh, so I, now I need to rent a slay seal. Could I rent a slay seal from you? Um, I don't even know where I'm going either, but I will help. <laughs> uh, sand seals. Wait, what about a sand, a sand seal, a slay seal? I'll rent one. For fifty dollars. Oh, fine. Goodness gracious. Link, nothing if not charitable. Spending his money to take hopeless Gerudo women to places they don't even know exist. Eh, it's fine. I think we've been there. Oh, hey, and the blood moon rises. What joy! All right. Let's sit those sleigh bells jingling, ring ting tingling too. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sand seal. Sled together with you. All right, we on the east side? Northeast? Up here? Where is she? I have... I have the transportation lady. I'm dying. I'm too cold or something. Let's put on... Let's put on the winter clothes. I, I try to I try to stay dressed for each place. We'll put on this so that we're good no matter what. Um... Where is she? To the ruins! Oh, golly gee willikers, she's all the way back there? I didn't see her, that's where this was at. She, she saw me getting the sled, and she's like, Yeah, he got the slice, you- Oh, he's- Oh, he's leaving, bye. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'm coming back for you. We could do this together. Where are you at? Really, where are you at? What? Oh, is that you? You stay there. My sleigh. Hi there. Quite a wait. Oh, you're the one who's going to help. You said you'd take me to the mountains of the ruins with the huge statues facing each other. Statues, 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 statues. Don't be dyslexic. That's in the eastern part of the desert. Would it be alright for me to get on the seal? Do it. Alright, let's go to the ruins! Relatively safely, if possible. It's all relative, indeed. You look very comfortable, don't you? Okay, so ruins to the east with statues facing each other? Is that... Um... I mean, this is the east. I'm guessing it's this right here. These are like the, the statues of the goddesses or whatever in Breath of the Wild and you had to give them the orbs. Forgot about that. Apparently that's not a thing this time? Or at least it's not a quest. Unless, of course, this is the quest that ties it to it, which is entirely possible. Another thing while I'm here that I would like to investigate is this. Carusa Valley, because this leads up... Okay, the music is killing me. Let's just let it do its thing. <laughs> <laughs> the ominous piano. Anyways, over there was the Yiga clan hideout. Obviously, it's not there anymore, or like not completely populated anymore, because Master Koga clearly isn't there. He's dead now at this point. He blasted away like Team Rocket. And what's more, like the big Blade Master dude is holed up somewhere in the valley. And then all of the little minions are at various other encampments. So there may, in fact, not be anything there, but, 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 just for nostalgia's sake, I think it would make some sense to investigate it while we're in the region, of course. Given the fact that we don't have a whole lot of quests here. We've got, oh wait, I cooked this lady's fish, and I didn't bring it to her. <laughs> oh, it's rotten now. I'm just kidding, we'll drop that off as well. Can't forget, can't forget, can't forget. Definitely can't eat it. Yes, those bones are massive, you're so observant. Now hold on tight, I'm kind of swerving a little bit here. We almost there? Kinda, should just be up- oh, oh, I see them. I see them, I see them. It's in this little, like, coliseum-like thing. Alrighty, well, this is your captain speaking. Please keep hand, feet, eyeballs all inside of the vehicle at every given time. And here we are. They're very much, like, less grand. They're buried in sand. Hey, hey, stop, stop, stop! 
Sand seals. Stop out a dime. Look at that. Wish my car had brakes like that. Goodness me. Watch, we're gonna get out and she's like, alright, now I need you to dig out every single one of these. Hey, look at that! Yeah, look at it. Ah. Huge statues. They're facing you. Mm hmm? This is another statue, right? It's fallen over, though. Okay, I'm sure this is the place I was asked to investigate. Huh. Yeah. Sark, now that I'm here, I can start my investigation. Oh, and of course, I have to reward you for your help. Hundred dollars, here you go. Well, that offsets some of the cost of the, uh, well, it offsets all the cost of the sand seal, and then some. Ratana said these were supposed to be the ruins of seven heroines here, so where have the other two gone? One of them's, like, way off that way. All right. Is this... Is this all that's here? There's a Korok up here. You can see, well, in Breath of the Wild, there's like emblems on different parts of them, and that's how you would find out which orb went to each one. That one's still got like scaffolding and stuff. We should... I don't know that there's anything here for us, but we should investigate them still. I think this was a... a shrine quest. Oh god. Well, that might be a little problematic to get up there. Let's put on our sandy pants. Do we have sandy pants? Where are the sandy pants at? Do the sandy dance. That way we can run on the sand, you see? And then we ascend, right? Ascend. 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 Oh, we're not ascending. Okay. We waste time trying to ascend. And maybe Scroodle McNoodle ourselves. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close! Get up there! Woo! Yahaha! Yeah, ha, ha. We did it! Yeah. Very nice. Korok Seed. Thank you indeed. What's up there? What is that? Hey now, Beefer! What are you doing, huh? I'm trying to just look around. And you were spitting on me. You electric as Alphos. I'll take a photo of you. suppose that's a fair trade. Now let's go over here. It's a very interesting... Very interesting thing atop this statue. Oh look, and there's... It's Kilton, they're Colton. Hanging out up there. Lots of colors, lots of colors. Hydra Malone. The Hydra Malone's been already photographized. Now we can ascend. Aha! We don't truly need to, I don't think. We could probably just climb it the old-fashioned way. But we'll get a head start. Never a bad thing. Now, we will just climb this sheer cliff face, jumping up at goodness gracious Link, a talented mountaineer. Do we have enough stamina? I don't think we do. We gotta wait just ever so slightly. Is that a light? It's just a light, isn't it? What is that? Yeah, it's just a light. Ha! <laughs> it looked interesting enough. Why is there a light on top of this one, though? Very odd. Very strange indeed. There's like a whole set of lights on this one. Like this one was meant to be climbed in this specific game, but why? Why? Maybe we should speak to her once more. And hey, there's... There's a thing down there. A sandy, a sandy whirlpool. Quick sand, there we go. Where? Where, where did she go? Did she leave? I guess she's gone. I guess she, she got eaten by the Lizalfos. How sad. Well, we'll cherish your memory by getting sucked into the sand and see what, what happens to us. Again, no shrine because they're all done. But it could be like armor or something interesting. Discovery, the East Gerudo Ruins Cave. Look, there is another goddess statue. Or part of one. Get it, Yunobo. Hit it. Hit it! Oh, before it gets me! Thank you, Tolan. Goodness gracious, you know is gonna let me die! See some ores. We're not gonna- yeah, we're not gonna have a map of this area. Hmm. See an electric like-like off that direction. Is this circular? And there's two? Two sandy pools? Which one did we come down? I don't know. It seems strange to me that there's two. I think there'd be the the one. What lies on the other side of this? There's a chest. No, no, no. Stop that. 
electrocuting the hero. On a day such as today, why I never. Okay, well, it looks like we're gonna have to build ourselves a little, like, sland skeeter. And drive around here and see what else is down here for us. We've got more to do in the Gerudo region than we've had at other regions. Which is exciting. It'll make for a good episode tomorrow. So, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I hope that you enjoyed yourself. If you did, I'll see you then.